All right, so welcome back. This is uh, day two, or officially uh, tutorial two, of uh, the Island Uphold. I'll just call it a series, because that sounds like a fun thing to do. Let's say this is a, is a series. Now, since this, since this is uh, fresh in my head, I believe what I wanted to show you guys for today is building a pirate ship. Um, on top of that, I did... What did I do? I did the cutscene, which was here. And then we went into the house, just did this. Um, I'm going to skip over here because I don't want to spoil too much if, if you guys plan on getting the game, which would be pretty, pretty dope. I'd like that. It would be kind of cool. I'm going to go straight to here. So we're going to go to the second scene. Uh, let me just pull that up. Uh, this time... We're going to hit continue. Because uh, I know where it is. So this is the second half. Um, I put in a save option. You don't need to do that. Just skip over that. So we're going to see what the uh, boat that I created looks like in auto run. So. Skip. Skip, skip, skip. Lots of dialogue. And what's nice is I, I use the scroll so it more or less approximately lines up with the uh, characters as you're reading. So, you know, as they go along, kind of talking, you can see whose family is who. Um, then I finally get to, I guess, the ticket lady, and they're kind of all, all there. And then it, it, then it stops, so you, you know, you can control how far the scroll screen goes and when it stops. We were talking about that uh, before, but... So there's the pirate ship. There you go, all zoomed in. It, you know, it's even though I showed you the the bows of it, it it didn't look, you know, that crazy. So perfectly appropriate. Um, you might see a little bit here. It doesn't look super accurate on the edge, but you know, whatever. Added in some uh, thunder effects and. Notice in the cutscene as they go below deck, it's not completely finished. There's, this is sort of where I'm, I'm working at right now, is getting all the, the characters to move in an area that I want them to. Like, some of them haven't left the area and, and all that, but... Oh yeah, there's another thing. You can color tint the screen so it goes sort of a grayish hue and... Um, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, Pretty cool. Not all mines are alike. Ain't that the truth. So now they're inside the, the, the boat, the, uh, the ship, there's everyone downstairs. And it's sort of rocking like, okay, the ship's got to crush in little pieces. You can have this green shape. It's like a running commentary. So I have the screen sort of go to, to these guys. Whatever. And then they all rush to the exit, right? So I have to move back up. Um, you know, there's, 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 there's she, you know, in the corner. Um, some of the people to the left. There's not enough time. And then the rest of them are gonna run down the hall and uh, I haven't configured all of that yet but... and we stop here uh, there you go <laughs> that's that's where I leave off so um, I'll have to configure that later but so that's the the second auto run sequence we saw the a bit of the first so, but that's the second and that's not even finished yet right so all this is in progress anyway so here's the boat that I built by itself so we have, and uh, th this will be a tutorial on, on how to build a RPG boat. 
So bear with me. I'm just doing both an analysis and what's not. So we have three three layers. So this is actually going to be great for uh, building. Uh, so here's this the stern or the uh, yeah the uh, the front of the ship, and there's there's a there's a map for you to 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 put that out. Then I sort of scaled it as best as I could down here. Then I used uh, this to give the length of the ship. And um, to the front, there's another set. You'd have to find the right edge to, to put all the way down. I couldn't find that. Um, perhaps I'll edit it. I'll double edit it in the future. Like you can see, there's some small mistakes here, but there's the other back stern and then there's cannons. We've got uh, mastheads and you know, here's supposed to be the edge or the, the, or the, sorry, not the edge, the middle stern bow and that there's no actual, um, uh, thing for that. I mean, you could try and add, uh, this, uh, oops. Um, you can try and add that, but it, it won't, I, I don't think it'll look that great. Uh, looks okay. Um, but yeah, I use that as it's supposed to, I guess, maybe be the, the, the inner end of the ship. Like it's supposed to be shooting up through the, the roof. Anyways, so I'm going to run through all this and, uh, let's begin building a, uh, I guess a basic RPG maker 2003 pirate ship. Let's do this from scratch. I'm very excited. Okay, so zoom, zoom out. Let's create a new, new map, and let's just call it Pirate Ship Demo. So right click, create a new map, and write uh, Pirate Ship Demo. And we're going to want to change the tile set to ship, of course. And we're going to want to create the map size so that it's big enough to host the size of the ship. Uh, for argument's sake, let's just do, uh, yeah, let's just do 100 by 100. Uh, give me one sec. Okay. So now we've got a big enough uh, plane. So this is where it gets tricky. And again, I'm no expert at creating uh, buildings and ships. A, a lot of that stuff was uh, linked through... Oh, what's his face? Uh, the Con Connor, um, in <laughs> Connor in the uh, tutorial on the first one. I'll link it again. That he has fantastic tutorials in building, as well as um, is it SR dude? Yeah, SR dude had some fantastic stuff in building. But I have not seen a pirate ship before. I'm gonna attempt this with you, and this is how I did it. So you want to get to the first layer. So there's two layers. And you're going to want to grab if you're if you're doing a left to right, we can build it both ways. I'll just do this one the first way. You're going to want to grab this section here and grab it as a uh, a big chunk and zoom in and drop it down here. Now this obviously doesn't match, so you're going to want to get rid of of that and just uh, fill it with C. So fill that with C, fill that with C. And that's how I got, uh, I guess, on general, the, the 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 front end of the ship, and then we'll just do the back end. So we'll grab that, um, zoom out a bit, so we have da 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 da. Line it up so that it's about the same. Oh, we're gonna make it, you know, a decent size. So we'll say that's the other end of the ship, and they're uh, cross facing from each other. So let me just uh, mark out those little bits. There you go. You got the uh, front and back end of the ship. Uh, if we were doing it uh, vice versa, you'd need to use, I believe, these stern bows. But we'll get to that later. So now we're going to go to the top end. And we're going to select. So there's. So that, just imagine this is top layer, bottom layer. So we click top layer. And we're going to grab this end. And we're going to stick it. Uh, right there. Then we're going to also grab this. We're going to select. I, I've i clicked um, pen select and uh, just drag. So you can hold, 
hold the cursor and drag. So that's what I've been doing and drag. If you're falling behind. And uh, I, I click that so that there's the front ends that pops out. Uh, we can add some flags on the end. So let's just uh, add a flag there. Add a flag there. There we go. Looks nice. Um, so that's for the right side. I believe the left is on the bottom. Uh, where is Oh, there it is. Sorry. Sorry. It's the same. And we're going to do the same thing. So, so you can see, see where all the, all the top ends coming from. So, uh, click like that and then take out the, the spear thingy and just shoot it onto the end. That's how I got the, the first little bits. Um, again, this is not in any way going to be uh, super perfect. I, I think you can already see that uh, this isn't quite lining up. So that might might actually have to go out a bit more. Um, apologies. Uh, I think there, there, yeah, there is an extra, extra little bit. So you want to give it some space and then shoot it out. Sorry about that. Um, and there's going to be, uh, yeah. So that that key there, and that that will will push it up. So here, and then you want to find the other side of this and push it out. Sorry about that. Let's fix that. So move this out. I, I'm. I, I I'm I appreciate you guys uh, going as fast as I, I'm going. Uh, I've been using this for a long time, so I, I if you want to stop the video and if I'm going too fast, you know by all means I apologize. I just I I do this trial and error and I do it really quickly. So yeah, you can see how that lines up quite nicely. So oh there you go. Um I I learned something. Uh perhaps this piece goes in here. More or less like that. No, no, no. It would go out, out. Yeah, I remember this. So these pieces are, are are sort of the outlier that'll connect around to the edge. And this is, yeah. So, so yeah, we have the, the base of both. Um, yeah, it's, it's looking pretty good. Edge, edge. Wow, I went right up to the edge. Apologize for that. I can... I can always make it the map bigger. Oh, uh, whatever. Later. Uh, <laughs> so now that we've got both sides, we're going to want to sort of bring it down and create the underbelly of the ship. So let's go back and fill out where the ends of these are. I know that there's, there's going to be a, an extra piece I can't see it for the life of me. Um, yeah, it's going to be a very slow build, but that's okay. Let's move. Let's move on. So we've we've got it coming down. I believe if you select these pieces, I think, yeah, so th this layer is, is more or less to bring them down to the open layer. So let's select this piece and let's move in. Let's move it. Yeah, yeah, that looks good. So that moves it down. And this, I believe, would be the final, like, yeah, yeah. So I remember these pieces here being the underbelly of the ship. So we have on general prints, yeah principle how big the ship's going to be let's make that add that so connector pieces get rid of that so this looks really nice and then finally when we're ready we say there you go that's the bottom so that for here so that for here then that goes right before then we have these connect down down down, down. and this goes all the way down Sorry about this. I, I mean, it, I, this is one. This is one of my first tutorials, so to, you know, cut me some slack. I'm I'm going to be very slow and very, you know, going over some things. Then you have the choice of, I guess, selecting. Yeah, drag and select 
something that's like this big and say like that's the under the underbelly. In fact, we can we can make it even lower because we want we want lots of deck, right? So uh, let's make this bigger. Get rid of that. That's that's sort of the remove tool. Uh, grab this a couple more times. There you go. And you can see how how nicely that that connects down 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 down. down. Now we filled up the ship and we can connect this up, 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 up. That's a very good uh, marker for how big we want the ship to be. When we're ready, yes, down, down. There we go. Now I think we're ready. So let's go back, select this tool, and we're going to do this. We're going to make it so that here is sort of the, the bar barrel of the ship. So... We're going to cross, and this will give you an idea of perceived length. So now that we're ready, down, 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 uh, drag and hold. Oh, oops. Ah, crap. Uh, sometimes you have to just click one at a time. Helps. There you go. And if you want to be fancy, I, I strongly suggest mixing it up between the two so we have some character. So there you go. That, that gives it a little more uh, character for the, uh, the boat itself. Um, okay. It's not... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, you can see that uh, it, it might not round itself out very well, but we'll, we'll get there. Okay, now for the base, we can go back, since we've got this. Um, I don't think this is necessary. Uh, we can, yeah, we can do start doing the other side, right? So we did that, that, that. Then we grab these pieces, um, right? So down, 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 down. I, sorry, I'll zoom in. Yeah, start doing the others. See, see how the once you get a, a, a view for the pieces, and um, what they do, then it, it's it's just fine. Um, down, 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 down. Then uh, bottom. <gasps> do the bottoms match? Let's find out. Uh, this one's up here, which means I I went one too far. So there we go. So now the bottoms match. Uh, yeah. So there you go. Side pieces, bottom. Okay. Then, afterwards, we're going to go back to our top layer. And I used... It was either this... No, these are the rails. These are the rails. But you can... You have a couple of options. Uh, this this works nicely. So if you, you click this, that that... And then just click this piece and then move it across that I believe would be like the the belly of the ship I've also used this like you can compare you can even do that if you want <laughs> but I've I've said like this is the the bottom end of the ship right so let's just drag that to the the end great and zoom out so now we've got Sort of the bottom end. Let's fill it out. It, it's gonna look. It's gonna look real nice. Don't worry. Right now you're like kind of worried, saying, "Oh, is this gonna turn out well?" No, it's it's gonna turn out just fine. Um, let's finish it like that. You know, it again. Don't try and go for complete perfection. Just build, build, build. Just do it. You know, Nike slogan. Just, just get it done. Oh my goodness, we're 20 minutes in. I am falling far behind. This might be a 40-minute video. Uh, that's okay. Okay, so we've got that. Got that. Um, got to pick it up a bit. So let's go back to the second layer. And uh, start doing the same thing. So this is the top. We're going to fill this out and line it up with uh, where we are here. 
Let's, let's make these two high. And then when you're done, just click on the metal one and that'll uh, even it out. So there you go. We've got a basic principle of the ship. Not perfect per se, but it's going to look fine when you, when you throw in stuff. Um, I know I did mine slightly different from before, but that's okay. Take this, right, and uh, put it here, actually. Yeah, do that. So it's 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 nicely rounded, and you can do the same. Yeah, so I, I use these to to round out the uh, the ship. So, whoops. Uh, let's grab this right in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That that's that's great. Um, for the rails, sorry, we're gonna go back and do the the outside rails. I said that these were the rails or these. So we're just going to drag this top end and say that, oh, getting really hasty now because I, I don't want to make this like a 50 minute video, but it might have to be if it gets it gets the job done. So click one at a time. And you always want to do the outside first so that you have a good idea of how big it's going to be. Um, you just do that. You can fine tweak your stuff later. The point is just to get uh, the, the boat uh, going. So now we've got a, an end-to-end -end ship. Uh, both. And they, they, yeah, like how great, how great is that? You got something. You got something. Now you can add the flags. Uh, and here's the best part is that once you've done this, once you've got an idea of how big your boat is going to be, Again, you can make a bigger map, a wider map. I believe the maps themselves can go up to something like 500. So keep that in mind. Once you've got a right click, go back to properties. Like how's this? Yeah, this goes up to 500. So you, you don't really have to worry about whether you want to make your boat a ginormous beast. It's more about getting the, uh, the outside done. So I'll just go back to that. Um, but this is uh, the, an average size vessel, right? Um, what I did was I, uh, what did I do with the last one? Oh yeah, I used the front ends and I put these here and then I put cannons on top of them. So that was, that was a nice little, uh, little gesture. Uh, let's make this so that we look, yeah. <laughs> Even, I mean... Again, you stylize your boat the way you want to stylize it. This is just a, a guideline. Let's go back to the top. We'll say the cannons are coming out and they're they're all badass. There you go. I mean, it, it already looks far, far cooler. You zoom in, you've got cannons coming out. So we just select, select full and then just click to the top for each cannon. Again, if I'm going too fast, I apologize. Just slow down and... Uh, I've been doing this for a while though, so it's five months. It's not, no, not, not completely new to it, right? Okay, so we've got cannons. It's really cool. Let's zoom back out, and we're gonna finally fill out the middle and see if I can't find uh, these. Uh, oh, could put the anchors here. That looks cool. That looks cool. People might not see it, so you might want to put it up like that. Click on the anchor. And these all these other little bits and bobs will we'll throw in to the center of the ship. So what I did from here is, um, oh, shoot. You could have uh, peepholes as another thing. The occasional peephole. Hey, oh, oops. Bueno, good. Um, now that we've done that, oh, we can take these, I just noticed, take these two sides and uh, board it up here and uh, board it up, ah, uh, shit, board it up here. <laughs> no curse words, Colin. <laughs> uh, <laughs> now we take what's missing from, like, I believe, yeah, and then we put this let's zoom in because they didn't make them perfect we put this here let's see how that 
Uh, that doesn't work too well. You can tell that, that, that the symbols aren't off. And I'm trying to go for perfection for you guys, which is uh, maybe not the, the best thing, but might as well. What the heck? Uh, nope. And it's that's how I built my ship. It, it was a lot of guesswork, right? This is all... This is all guesswork, so that's why I say this might take, you know, 50 minutes just to, to friggin' do. It's, it's not the... I want to find this these two middle pieces. Um, perhaps you have already found them, but I haven't. Um, it might be in the top section. So what do we have? We have... Let's try that. Nope. Um... Ah, I think it's this. No, that doesn't work too great. Hmm. See, these go like that on the sides, but I believe there's two more that should be here that go on the other side. And I don't see them. I feel as if the uh, the the sprite was incomplete, and you sort of have to just work it out in your own way. So again, that's why it's not going to be perfect, which is really crappy. Um, let's no, we already did that. Let's try it. Uh, no, that might be for something like here. Yeah. Okay. Click there. Okay. Let's run with it. Uh, again, you can see that it doesn't look good, but that's not the point. We're just trying to, to finish. And um, we have the, the, the base edge. So if, if you want to go back and uh, completely re-edit, then I don't blame you. Uh, these are all for forward facing. We'll get to that. I guess in, in the next tutorial, we'll just do, oh my goodness, we're at 27 minutes. <laughs> we'll get to that next time. So let's move on and just print away. So let's say that goes there and just start filling in that mesh, mesh downwards. Okay, that that's not bad. <sighs> what can you do, right? Um, and we'll say that's the uh, that's the front. Um, then after that, we're going to get the uh, the tiles in, and once you get the tiles in, you'll feel much, 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 much better. So, let's scan these two like that. Actually, there, there you go. The one of the tricks you can do is um, fill it out with these blanks as much as you can. So these these edged wood, so that people can't see the the detail being sort of messed up in a way. So let's scan this down, and then we're going to start. It's yeah, start painting the the ship. Scan it down, scan it down, scan it down. So we just we, we just want to get the basic trend of the ship. Scan it down. And after we've done that, zoom out. We're going to take this tool because we're right now in pen. We're going to change it to rectangle and we're going to hold. And then voila, we've got, see, uh, boom, all the way to the end. Oh, stop there. And you know, just stop there and then we'll get these, this one to, oh, no, we'll just say that. And, oh, that's a good fit actually. What'd I pick? All right, and then take the the lined one on this side because we, we clicked that one. You can see the little edge there. And then line it down, line it down, line it down. There you go. And, oh, we can fill that in with, uh, whew, it's not an easy task. Okay, yeah, fill it, fill it in with that. 
and that, and that, and that, and that. Let's see how that, that turns out. There you go. Um, whoops. Still on paint tool. Yeah, there you go. So what did I click? So I clicked that and then I put it all the way up there. So let's do the same thing, uh, this tool, and then put it, uh, shoot, put it like that. Oh, no. No. But yeah, there you go. Aha! I think I figured out something. So that would go there. Let's grab this again so it shows the uh, quarter deck like that. And then take those nice little lines and almost, we'll just do that. I mean, that's not professional, but we'll, oh, wait, what, what I can do is, oh, maybe I get an extra length of pole here. Yeah, so maybe I just do that and then do that. Aha, okay, so it's not to scale, but since there was that little extra tooth cap, why don't we just do that on both sides? So it looks, looks, yeah, now it looks smart. Now it looks smart. There you go. So what do we have when we've we've painted in everything and we've got we've got a basic boat, right? That's fantastic. I did the the lined one here. So let's go find that again on the left side. For the left side. Yeah, there it is. So there's the right side, there's the left side, and let's start painting. So oh, shoot. Uh There you go. There you go. Um so the first one's done. Second one, third one, foot, no, I went too far, fourth one, and what did I do with that? I, yeah, there you go. And we'll do one more, fifth one. Okay, now we've got a basic um, RPG Maker 2003 boat. Yay! Uh, we've hit the 30 minute mark. Oh boy. Let's keep going. <laughs> so now that we've got this, we're going to want to decorate it. We're going to want it to look good. So let's start with where the, um, the, I guess the, the people can, can enter from, from the top. So what I've done is I can make like sort of a rail guard and say like, uh, so these are steps, right? So why don't we just say like, this is where they can just step onto the boat and kind of pretty it up and say there's some whoop, rail guards on either side. So steps, rail guards, sorry, I can zoom in. Yeah, let's zoom in now, now that we've got the boat finished. And there's uh, some rail guards on either side and that. Um, what did I also add? I added uh, masts. Or the, the sails. So you can either have them in the center. Let's put them in the center because I had them on the edge. Uh, put them down like that. Grab and select and then click right over and drag like that. Um, remember this pole? Perhaps I can put this right beneath it. Again, that's not super accurate, but it'll it'll do. Uh, so let's move this to the, the next part and Make sure they're kind of aligned. And there we go. Another pull. Uh, you can put more flags if you if you so wish. Uh, it doesn't look too great. <laughs> uh, control, Z. control Z if you want to do a quick undo is control Z. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, one, two more. Uh, so they're fairly even spaced. Uh, select that tool. Select that tool. Yeah. Keep going. And finally select that. That. And there we go. So if I zoom out here, now we've got four middle masts on a nice sized boat and all that's left is to decorate it really we can have uh four or the side facing cannons 
So if you, you noted on the last one, I had some forward facing ones, just have them edge out. Like they're going to shoot out to the, you know, the other bad guys on the other boats, uh, zoom in. Yeah. Like it's like, it's dipping over. That's okay. If we lose some, some graphic, so you can see how the graphic got removed, but that's not a big deal. So it's shooting out. Uh, we already have these down. Now we have two shooting out there. Let's have the other two grab the cannons. Uh, whoop, there you go. Shoot out there and make sure that they're even. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. And now we want the wheels or the, the yeah, the mat or we already did the mass. Sorry. So let's just say the captain's wheel is right there. Uh, we can have him sitting on a barrel while he, uh, navigates the seas. <laughs> um, if you want another one on the other side, you can do side facing wheels. Of course, you can have them up here, uh, just for decoration. Maybe that's to, to, to move the boat port side. <laughs> I don't, I don't know the exact terminology. And this is what I mean by we go, we go about sec, we set about decorating the ship. Um, so I like to make them kind of all even so that they're right across from each other. There you go. You got cannons, the wheel, the wheel, more cannons, and then a side facing wheel. Now we want to make this, this part pretty. We want to really pretty it up. So it's a nice looking boat. So let's say, so this is a, a popular one. So this is a, like a food table. So let's just say the pirates eat and drink there and they drink there and just scatter them about. Right. So. There you go. There's a couple, couple around. Like from here, you don't really need much of my my help in building a ship, right? So uh, lanterns. Oh, oh, there's one other thing that's important. You want them to go below deck, so you want to switch back to the first layer, and you grab this as a selective tool, and paste or just click, and drag the full thing so that it goes in like that. And that'll be their, uh, like escape and, or to the, to lower decks. Right. So one, one on each, uh, make them nice and, uh, even select, drag them out. We've got that. So, and it's the only, only one, unfortunately, I mean, you can have like, uh, and they're all, uh, downward facing. There's no ones that go off to the side, which is a real pain. You'd have to download map packs, but that's okay. There's also this, which is, uh, like a door. Um, you can certainly put that like it, it here, it tried out. It, that doesn't look too great. I just stick, stick with, uh, what, what, what you've got. Um, oh, here you go. Uh, Let's try something like that. So maybe we have like an escape down here or a uh, escape or escape up here, but we want to have the same frame. I'm just playing. I haven't tried this yet. Give me a, m a minute. Um, ooh. Let's grab this. Okay. Grab that. Okay. Let's see what that looks like. That's not bad. So n now we can sort of have a small built in escape there and there. Grab this tool. Grab it like that. And, um, put two on either side. I guess that's okay. What do we got when we zoom out? We've got something going. So escapes, escapes, here's the main. Now let's party up the ship. So let's say, oh, perhaps you put the lanterns here. Does that look okay? Uh, get rid of some stuff. Okay, why don't we put them below like that? Okay. Let's say there's some harpoons. Okay. Harpoons on some either side can scatter them about to make them look a bit more generic. 
Uh, they have world map paintings, but let's get all the, the stools. The chairs are important. So let's get some stools in there. So stool, nice stool. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Lovely. Uh, some barrels. I, I actually drew an S on my, my I, I mean, you can take a look at it, uh, an S, <laughs> and that shows, because uh, uh, it's called the SS Stockhausen. I thought that was a, a, a nice, funny joke. Anyway, sorry, back to this. Uh, but you can have them in, in small little, like, uh, yeah, I still have it on triangle, right? So I'm sort of just dragging and dropping. You know, you can have them scattered just a bit. You know, and have them nice and lined there, but you can you can tell how vastly different you know the size and and uh, with these two are. If you want to compare compare boats, so I just had a mini mini one, but this is more uh, lengthy. Uh, you can test and try out the waters yourself, but the the real trick is getting these corners to outline how wide and how you know, far you want your ship to go. Do that. Let's do a couple barrels, scatter them about, because I've I'm now at 40 minutes and this is a very long tutorial. I apologize. Perhaps I'll do the 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 width one, the one going up and down next time. If not, um I I'm gonna probably just leave it here. Let's say you want some maps. Oops, because I I've I've given uh, I've, I've shown you guys uh, more or less what you want to do. The last thing you want to do is, of course, go into here and uh, start creating characters. So you can double click. Um, this, this is called events. And again, like I said, this is sort of a half tutorial, half analysis of, of my game. So I showed you guys what I did in the first one. Now I'm showing you guys what I did to build, build the boat. So, you know, I can double click, uh, go down. Uh, okay. Uh, then we can just start, you know, a captain guy, you know, there you go, apply. And if you zoom in, you can have, yeah, you can already see him. You can have him facing on the, looking out to the sea. You can have him sitting there playing cards or whatever pirates do. <laughs> um, and beds, but that wouldn't be at the top of the ship, right? That'd be at the bottom. Maybe you could have some, uh, sorry, uh, pots. You know, just lying about. Okay, but anyways, I'm, I'm going to wrap it there. And there you go. You have a, a nice, wonderful ship in the full. I showed you to the bottom, sort of go around the top, where the guidelines are so that they, they match edge to edge. I hope this was a helpful tutorial, a very long one. I think this was double the length of the last one, but I had a great time making it. I'm sure my tutorial speaking skills are going to get better as time goes on because more importantly beyond creating video games I promised I'd do tutorials on how I uh, produce uh, music and I've how I've always been that those are gonna be much easier because I've been doing that for a lot longer than I've been building games I tell you but uh, I'll leave you at that um, you know there's dead all the the pirates that were lost in the war that just have them more <laughs> sorry <laughs> All right, so I'm going to leave it at that. Um, Art, this has been RPG Maker 2003. How to build a basic pirate ship left to right. Uh, this is Colin, your host. I'm signing off until next one, until tutorial three. I'll leave all the links in the description below. Um, you know, you can follow along. Uh, I'll be making these Hopefully once a day, that was my plan for the next uh, month or so. So there might be, you know, a good 10 or 12, but it's both an analysis and a tutorial. All right. Um, I'll see you guys all later. All right. Okay. Bye.